Hey guys, Dean here. In today's dropshipping video, we're going to be covering the Zendrop app for Shopify. In a similar fashion to the previous apps we've covered, such as AutoDS and Spocket, this is an all-in-one dropshipping platform solution where you can find winning products and suppliers and get quicker shipping times and other options than the typical method of AliExpress dropshipping. If you're setting up a brand new store for the first time and you want to know the easiest method to set up a Shopify dropshipping store, then maybe the Zendrop app is for you. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you a tour of the app, all the features you can expect, and how to actually set up Zendrop with Shopify and link it to your store. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So here we are in the Shopify app store. So by now, if you watch some of the other videos, you should know how to get to the app store off the Shopify dashboard. If not, there is just an apps button on the left hand side when you log in on the dashboard and you should search for Zendrop. When you search Zendrop, we can find the Zendrop app over here, the Zendrop global dropshipping app, which is what we're going to be testing out in this video. This allows for faster shipping times and industry leading shipping options and expedited shipping, one button options to add products directly to your store, just like a lot of the other apps we've used before. And it says Zendrop is an e-commerce marketplace that connects reliable suppliers with online merchants and drop shipping stores. No more language barriers such as those with AliExpress sellers, no more slow shipping times and misbranded packaging. There's also customer support on this too. So what can we expect when we use Zendrop as a service with our store and why should you think about using it. It says auto fulfillment, all future orders are instantly fulfilled on your store with a click of a button. No more using virtual assistants or manually entering orders in yourself. The robots Zendrop, aka the bots on the platform, complete the entire fulfillment process for you. All product SKUs, which are a type of the product codes, will be mapped to your store so all multi-product orders will be easily fulfilled by the Zendrop system. Also a really cool feature of Zendrop, which was the same with the Spocket app, is they have custom packaging, okay? So with Zendrop you can create custom packaging, thank you cards, branded inserts, and beautiful invoices. While other fulfillment platforms deliver products with international packaging slips and Chinese lettering, Zendrop knows that you can damage how the customer feels about their purchase. So we ensure that customers will feel valued and as a result, respect your business. There's also customer support and we can customize the whole interface with Zendrop. And also there's order tracking features. So track your orders in real time with the integrated order tracking feature and stay in control of your business. So we have a free trial here. So I'm just going to go to the top and press add app. Like I said in the previous video, if you want to know how to set up Spocket, which is another alternative service, you can go on my channel and check that video out too. This is pretty much the same thing. And just like with Spocket, Zendrop offers custom invoices and custom packaging. Now, if anyone's tried to use the old classic method of drop shipping on Amazon, you'll know that Amazon's terms of service don't allow you to drop ship products which don't have branded packaging or invoices. So using a service like this, you could technically use it on Amazon too, because we can customize all that in inserts, invoices, and packaging. So it looks like it came directly from our brand, even though it's drop shipped from a different warehouse which is not our own. So then what you want to do is create a login and an account. So this is mainly just setting a password. So when we log into Zendrop, we'll be greeted by this dashboard over here. This is the Zendrop product dashboard, and we can see all of the options on the left-hand side. Now this is quite expansive in comparison to a lot of the services which we've used on this channel recently. So as with most services on Zendrop, we have the find products feature, which is what greets us on the dashboard first. And from here, we can search through the products page with whatever keywords and terms we like. So if we just type in pet and press enter, it filter all the pet products individually on the store and we can look through that specific niche. We can also use some various filters. So I'm just going to clear the filters. We can select the shipment location. So they have warehouses in the USA for quicker shipment times, which is where most of your customers are most likely going to be located. Then we have from China, which is the same as most AliExpress suppliers. And we also have categories. So we have accessories, art, automotives, bags and wallets, barware, bath and beauty, bingo and bribe belly brands. Under suppliers, we have the Zendrop fulfillment service and then a few other fulfillment services and suppliers over here too, which are obviously in different locations. Then you can also filter by price range from $1 to $500. If you want to specifically look for slightly cheaper or more expensive products, you can click this big button over here, ships from USA, and this will show you only the products which ship directly from USA warehouses for really quick shipment times. This is the new method of drop shipping guys, trying to select warehouses and locations to fulfill products which are much close to your customers to get those quicker shipping times. You can also press shop trends and what this page basically does is it tries to show you slightly more trendier products. Now I've seen this for an example on one of those random winning products platforms. I think we actually found this on Ecom Hunt a few weeks ago when I showed you that as an example. I still think this is a terrible product to sell and it looks super goofy but it's also kind of 
cool and I'm sure it's really warm, but I wouldn't try and sell these. This also looks like that, that character off The Incredibles who has that visor. I can't remember what his name is, the guy in the white suit. So unless they're doing some Incredibles fancy dress for Halloween, then <laughs> maybe don't consider selling that. But you can see all of the trending products over here. As with every platform, use your own due diligence, guys. Don't just go ahead and sell any of this stuff because a lot of them will be terrible products. You need to be opportunistic and try and actually do some research on every product. You can go into tech, you can shop pet products directly, which I personally think are super cool, like this LED glowing pet band, which may actually be sellable. Try and look for something a bit more innovative, something a little bit different and more unique, and then you can try and sell them. And I'd recommend if you actually order any of these products, at least order one sample, right? Because you don't actually know if the quality is up to par. We can sort by newest, the lowest price first, and the highest price first too, and that's the sort features. So if I was to click on one of these products, let's just click on this lion for an example, because I like Lego, and this is some kind of construction building blocks toy, and it's fulfilled directly from Zendrop themselves. So this is a buildable set piece of a lion's head, which you build out of bricks, which are kind of like Lego. So we first see the product's cost itself. We see the shipping information. So what are the actual shipping times from each location? So from the USA, we have regular shipping, which is 10 to 15 days, and the cost of the shipping is $57.40, which is pretty ridiculous. I think this is actually the cost of just the shipping. I don't think this is the shipping plus the product price. Then we have international shipping, $58.90. We can also see the variance and the processing time. So the average processing time for the supplier based on the current factors and how long they'll take to process an order. So you can see the cost, you can see the piece count, any information about the product, and you can add it to your import list if you want to import it. Pressing add to import list will add it to the import list on the left hand side, which I'll show you momentarily. And also if you press place order, which is an upgraded plan feature, you can basically directly place an order manually from the page here if you want to order some samples or do a manual order placement. And also over here, there's a button that says don't see the product you're looking for, import from AliExpress. So this is a product importer. So if we go on AliExpress now and find a product. So over here, we're on AliExpress. Let me just select a random product. It's giving me these random watches. Let's just copy and paste this link to this watch. Let's paste it in here, AliExpress link and press import. And what this will do is any links which you paste in this box, it'll import them into the import list and it'll say product successfully imported, it'll refresh the Zendrop app and it'll take us to the import list. So the import list basically shows us anything that we've imported. So when we import a product, we can see the list of products we imported. If it's manually from AliExpress, it'll show that over here and it'll show us the product name and we can actually edit this. So this is where you edit the title, try and make it a little bit more catchier or a realistic product title because anything off AliExpress is just going to be keywords. You can add tags, type in the type of product and the collection it belongs to, which is mainly the category of the product and what it is. You can also then assign a description after you've done that. You can remove the product or override the product and just go through the information over here, select the category and press an import to store imports it directly as a product to then sell once you've finished it. So you want to make sure the draft is in full. Also, any products from Zendrop, you basically do the same, although most of the time they'll have the collection and most of the core information already assigned to it. And the description over here, you can click on this to change the description of the products. Now the description, then we have the variants and where they actually ship from. So this one doesn't ship from Brazil, but it ships from the US and international. And it shows the shipping costs over here, which as you can see, this is actually the shipping cost. So when I said earlier, I wasn't sure. This is actually the shipping cost, which is actually extremely high, guys. So you need to be very careful about this. So you'd sell this, including shipping for $145, which would be possible to sell if you've seen like Lego and those construction toy prices. But since this is not an official big brand, you may struggle to sell this at these prices. You can also edit the image select different images that you want or don't want before you press import and then import it to your store. Now, if you would click import, it would go under the imported products list. So these would be products that you've imported to your store and they'll show here. Basically, you use this page to then review them further and you review all the information here of the products that have actually been imported to the store after you've done the draft editing. So under my quotes on the left-hand side, this is another section which is regarding actual physical orders set up on your store. So when you receive any kind of sale on your Shopify store, store, the product automatically shows on your My Quotes page, so you can link your product from Shopify to a Zendrop one. If you cannot find a product to link, you can request a quote for it. So there's a sale that needs to be made on your store, then you link your product to a Zendrop product or request a quote on your My Quotes page. Your product's then linked to Zendrop, it's ready to automate the fulfillment and start scaling it. So for products which you have to manually fulfill in your Shopify store by default, importing them into here and linking them allows you to use Zendrop's fulfillment service to make your life a whole lot easier and automate the orders, which is what you're going to want to do on pre-existing
existing products already too. So orders is obviously the actual orders that are made. So the quotes is obviously linked to that, but orders is where orders will automatically show after any kind of sales. This is where you review them, manually fulfill them or automatically fulfill them as soon as they arrive or use the daily fulfillment options too. This also has a video on how orders actually work. So just like with Spocket, I'm actually going to show you the process. So if you did have real orders, this is what the screen would look like. It showed the payment status. So if they're paid, if they're not paid, if they're refunded, if the customer's payments are received, what nationality the customers are, the dates and the order IDs, the shipping costs, and then you have manual fulfill buttons over here, which you can manually fulfill. There's also a fulfill all orders button, which you can see where my camera was a moment ago. You can select them all and then press this and it will fill all of them at once. So you don't have to manually do all the legwork. And then you could view an individual order and it'll show you all the information up here. And this is how you would manually fulfill each order one by one. So you can review all the information, press fulfill, and it's literally as simple as that. After the fulfillment box disappears, then it comes up with some information where it says processing. And this is when the supplier has received your order and they then have to actually prepare it and package the order after that. And that status will automatically process and change depending on the status of your order there on out. You can also select the option of fulfillment. So daily fulfillment, automatic fulfillment, and whether branding options are turned on or off. So that's the orders feature. And there's different subcategories for unpaid orders and products which are linked and the options for order fulfillment over here, which you can click on and you can also export it to as a file. Then if you have the pro features, there's some really cool features you can use. So we have the branding. So this is where you create personalized thank you cards for each of the customers which order through your store and you can fill out the details and you can download a rendering to see what they'll actually see when they unpackage your order. So I could just randomly type in some information over here just to see. Thanks for ordering from my store. Press save and then after we press save what we can do is we can press download an example and now when customers open up my store this is what it will look like okay. So this would obviously have your own logo on it hasn't synced any of the changes this is just the example to show you. So your logo would be up here it have your title the actual actual message here, the store name, and your company address and email you type in. And also you can upload a custom thank you card here if you've edited it and made it in Photoshop or something else, okay? So that's how you would do custom branding. You can also do custom bundles and boxes. So when you want to sell more than one product together, you can use their bundling feature. This is actually really popular in dropshipping stores, guys. And a lot of these stores, which turn into real brands, do this to set themselves apart. I've seen some YouTubers do this. I think like Jordan Welsh and some of those other dropshipping YouTubers who had real brands. I think they did this technique. Basically, they'll include the original product like a necklace or something like that and then they'll bundle it with something else like a little gift or a card or something to kind of thank the customer or give them like a little bonus in like a gift box and sometimes that really helps to build your brand and you can create those bundles inside here search for the products you want to add to the bundle and then add it to your import list and kind of create it as an inclusive bundle and I'm just going to show you a video so this is the bundle system over here so you select the products you want so you have to search in the category you want in the search bar from the catalog and you can select with these tick boxes on the side. You can select which ones you want to include in the bundle and the specific sizes and variations. And then you name the bundle and then you press create on the bundle and enter the amount of units you want to be included. And then you can add the bundle to the import list, which adds it into your store. Or then you can fill out the information and add it to your store from the import list. You can also do exactly the same with a subscription box model. So subscription boxes work hand in hand with product bundles. After you create some bundles, you can set this to be delivered in a subscription box model. These are great ways to create recurring revenue for your store. So some other drop shipping YouTubers, I can't remember if it was Sarah Finance or Baddie and Business. It was one of those female drop shipping YouTubers. They were doing a subscription model and they said it was giving them some quite good sales. I think it was Sarah Finance on YouTube said that so a lot of people who are on YouTube have used this model too which works effectively and it basically works in a very similar way to the whole bundle system right so you set it up with the products you set up the bundle which is included for month one and month two so you could have a different bundle which is sent to them on the first month or the second month after they started their subscription and you can set up kind of like a different bundle every single month that they're subscribed and create this subscription box system which is pretty lucrative also the AliExpress importer which we used before 
before. We can also use that on the left hand side. And then there's also trendy products. Okay. Now trendy products is only for the pro license. You can do a seven day free trial if you so choose of the pro license. You can click on seven day free trial over here. But if you do this, you have to press approve and you have to make sure that this gets cancelled before the seven day trial actually expires. Otherwise you're gonna have to pay for this. But we're gonna just click on free trial. I'm just gonna select the maximum subscription and have a free trial of this. And over here, then you'd be able to go down to trendy products. This is where it says save time, save money and grow your business faster with these on trend products. So I guess they're trying to use different social media platforms and see what people are actually selling. And then over here, you can have a look at some products which may be trending right now or may be popular on social media platforms. Just like with some of the other products on the other product research tools, take these with a grain of salt. Then the Zendrop Academy. This is basically a place where you can actually learn how everything works. So you have master classes on e-com and e-commerce, lessons on how Facebook ads work and how TikTok can be leveraged for drop shipping and how to scale your business past the six figure mark. So there's some useful e-com courses in here and there's some tools which are currently in development. So all in all, that's how to set up Zendrop and how to start drop shipping with the Zendrop Shopify app. This is a really useful app to find winning products, a cool app to use for product research, a cool one to import products and to use for automatic fulfillment of all of your orders in a mass fulfillment way. So if you want to mass fulfill orders, if you want to use this as a product research tool, and if you want to build your store up from the ground up in a very simple, straightforward way, Zendrop is not a bad service. And from my review, I think it's pretty good. So if you have any questions about the whole setup process, do drop those in the comment section down below. This is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to show you guys how to get started with Zendrop because I saw it was quite a popular app on Shopify. And I'll try and get back to your questions as soon as possible. And what you can do for me in return is just give the video a like and subscribe for more business and dropshipping videos every single day. Thanks for watching.